Hello YouTube, uh, first off thanks for dropping on to this channel and uh, this video and having a quick look uh, I hope it's helpful to you uh, and you'll find it of some use um, There's an eyepiece on the market at the minute uh, and it's causing quite a stir on a few forums and such like uh, and that is the SV Boney Aspheric uh, eyepieces now, these are, or is it SV Bonny, Bony Bony? I'm, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. Uh, these are a cheap alternative to your standard achromatic eyepiece that you usually, uh, achromatic doublet, you know, the uh, you usually get. Uh, one like this is uh, quite standard with uh, what you get with normal uh, telescopes these days. Now, the quality of these, uh, some people are saying they're made of plastic, other people are saying they're not plastic, the glass and, and rest of that's the optics I'm talking about. Well, let's just start, well, there's some plans to that, yes and no, really. Um, but we'll just start here with this 25, uh, sorry, 23 mil. Uh, and if you just look at this, I mean, this is all glass. Uh, I can assure you of that it's fully coated and just look at the size of the glass you get in there for a cheap eyepiece this is fantastic I mean it really is a good eyepiece um, there is better of course there's, there's, there's always better but it, it, it performs excellent and it lets in quite a bit of light so it's good for deep deep sky uh, lunar and, and things like that or just you know as a, a star hopping uh, long photo eyepiece so there's not a lot to say about this but if you just compare again to the uh, the standard 25 you can see the, the difference in, um, in in the glass there it's, it's quite a lot like I say for the price and I think these they vary uh, you can buy them as a kit like this or you can buy them separate I do believe and they, they do range from seven pound up to uh, twenty pound each. It all depends. If you just shop around, you can just find them. But even at twenty pound, they're worth it. They really are. I mean, I picked this up for, I think about twenty three pound for the entire set. Anyway, moving on. The twenty three, brilliant. Then we'll go on to the ten. Now this is where the. Uh, the little argument about whether it's glass or um, plastic and unfortunately these are plastic and glass but I can assure you it doesn't affect the performance at all it, it's it's fantastic they are so crisp it really is one of the best 10 millimeter eyepieces on this price range that I've ever used and I've been looking at the sky now for 30 plus years um again fully multi-coated but i'll just explain to you a little explanation of how they are made up now this is out of uh, a 10 mil um modified achromatic and what you get is two lenses like this you get usually a cemented doublet and a single one these are made up exactly the same this part of the ice piece is glass okay it's this lens that is plastic and I believe this is the aspheric side of the uh, eyepiece well it is in the 10 anyway but like I say unless you're doing solar projection um, don't use it because obviously it'll just fry your eyepiece uh, but that's that's the only part that's um, plastic for some reason it's if you take it apart it's like a it's like a really deep bellied plastic lens but like I say the quality you would never know you would never know uh, it is fantastic really really crisp sharp images I'm hoping to do a video uh, of you know views through these uh, soon so you know stay tuned uh, moving on to the uh, four mil right well hmm. unfortunately this is where they do fall down but it is a four mil after all and 
this ain't bad um it's not great um i've not had a massive amount of use with this i mean because as as you know you've got to take every chance you can with this guy and i had a little break and i've chested it and i just went oh dear the sort of thing now the, what this is in actual fact is but the thing that i must point out is the uh, size of the the uh, opening here is really big for a four mil really surprised at that i mean if you compare it uh i've got one here this is actually a uh a six mil and you know this is a, this is a longer focal length and that is usually the uh <laughs> the sort of size they are but as you can see it's quite it's quite large now the way these work is it works that it's got like a kind of a i don't know if you can see this like a barlow inside there uh, I believe you can take these out, the, the barlow out, and it turns this into a uh, 10 mil or, or something like that, 10 or a 12 mil. Um, I've tried that, but the problem is it still is terrible eye relief. You know, I mean, it does turn it into a 10 mil. Um, I'll show you how it, it, they just come apart like this. But the problem is, you see, you can take this out, uh, but this part. I, I think it's screwed in but there appears to be uh, some way of, I haven't got a tool to, to see if you can take that part out but you can just take the lens element out in there which I have done just to test if that part was glass and it is glass but it's only a single element uh, lens you know no uh, it is coated though it is fully coated I can see there's like a purple hue to it um, which is good I suppose um, but yeah i wouldn't bother with this if you bought a set you know then fair enough it's in there and you haven't got a low uh, sorry a high uh, powered eyepiece you know but it's it's a four mil and to be honest with you if it ain't in three figures and you're going for a four you know a, a short eyepiece i would stay well clear um because the optics have to be so good, you know, because um, there's a hell of a lot of magnification going on there. So uh, I hope that kind of explains a few little questions that I've certainly uh, heard on the internet of what the like performance. But performance wise, like I say, the, the 23, fantastic. The 10, brilliant. You know, you really cannot knock these two eyepieces. I would highly recommend these two eyepieces. Uh, if you've already ordered and a set and they're coming on the way don't worry like I say you can take this out it can be adapted but you still got a quite a, a short eye relief the eye relief on these is great you know well it's great for the price you know uh, so yeah I would I would highly recommend them they're great uh, <laughs> what more can I say about them um, yeah I hope it's been helpful um, I will be doing a review on a budget Barlow lens too that's come out, which I personally think is the best book, bang for your buck, like uh, as when it comes to budget Barlow lenses. Uh, so again, if you made it this far to the video, thank you so much. Uh, please leave a, uh, leave a like um, and a comment if you want to, if you've got any questions or you know like to point anything else out with these please leave a comment thanks a lot see you later